Well, <laughs> you live and you learn. I won't call this a failed print. It's pretty awesome. I'll show you got off to you guys right here. This is the bicep. Uh, but you can clearly see a line right there going all around it. And uh, it's not supposed to be there. It looks to me like it's literally off by one millimeter. <sighs> it's so disappointing. I actually remotely did all this. So that's my ghetto Raspberry Pi, which I'm going to print a whole case for it. I started on it. Uh, but this weekend I was away from the house. Uh, don't worry, I had other people there, so, you know, I, I don't recommend, you know, leaving this guy on the completely fire hazard. But, I had Raspberry Pi, uh, Octopi going and all that. It's off by a millimeter. But it prints so much, I mean, it used basically half of a roll. And it came out so nice. I'm just going to sand that off. mask here, but I'm, I'm actually really excited about this filament. I've never been excited about filament. I've even gotten see-through transparent filament. You get to try it. I'm not even that excited. But this is, I mean, kind of new material, PLA Plus by Duramic 3D. I bought three kilograms of this, so it better be good. But it's got this uh, nice matte finish to it. And I can just tell, like, this seems like nice quality. It's packaged better than the rest. And it comes, look at this, with this nice little adhesive uh, thing for your bed. Now, obviously, this is way too small for my uh, 10s Pro, but this is pretty awesome. And I haven't put it in black, and I just think black looks really cool. Alright, so today was a different day. Uh, the kids, my baby brother, really wanted a Steve from Minecraft, so I 3D printed it, and he loved it. And I've never actually done this kind of acrylic painting. Not, I'm not an artist or anything like that, but it turned out pretty good, so I'll show it off to you guys. There he is. There's Steve. This is all the bow and arrow, the axe, the uh, sword. Uh, it came with the extra zombie head in the files, and I didn't realize that, and there's Steve. And, um... <laughs> for an amateur and for a kid's toy it turned out totally fine i think it's uh pretty cool you actually, actually take the helmet off but it's kind of stuck on there let's see if i could do it without him falling over there you go he's gonna fall over though and uh the legs and the arms move so it's kind of cool and the axe you know you could switch it out for any other tool but yeah this is kind of the potential you have with 3d printing you could make really cool little uh gifts toys i guess you could say and if you paint them well it's actually not a bad end product Here is how it's actually coming along. Here's my bicep, and go all the way down, gauntlet, and arm, the other side of it. And yes, I get a duct tape it to show you guys off, but it's not terrible. Um, it's at 100% for my body, and I think I have room that I'm gonna need if, I'm definitely gonna have to work on this part right here so I can bend better. But, man, does this not look cool or what? Um, I gotta show this up. Bam. I mean, tip came out great. Uh, we'll just tweak a little bit where we need to. Look, Rip, so, yeah, and I do have the fingers done already, actually. I just have not sanded them down yet. Uh, I don't want to start gluing them together until I sand them down. So that's the next thing. We're going to be sanding it all down and then gluing it together. So I'm gonna have a glove, hopefully next time you see it. Right now we're starting to actually print with the black filament. What I'm gonna have going on is right here, there's gonna be a clip. And from there, that attachment is gonna be cut several pieces. You'll see it when I, it's built out, but it's gonna hold the camera. And you guys are gonna have a view, and I will too, of course, from here on of time lapses of what we do. So we're gonna work a little bit next on Octopi. We're gonna make that all set up nice and clean so we could monitor and do better on my future prints. It's gonna have a cost estimator that's gonna be very exact and a time of how long it takes me to print. In fact, I'll show you guys what the bar looks like currently. So here it is, you know, Octopi Black, what I'm printing in black right now. And it's got how much it's gonna take me, six hours and 15 minutes. Uh, but see, it actually tweaked it and it's five hours, 23 minutes. There's gonna have a kind of an AI thing that's running and it gets smarter and smarter. For some darn reason, it says $9. That's completely inaccurate. 
Uh, I might have to look into it. It's about $1.50 of what I'm printing. But there you go. We're going to have better data for you guys, better controls, better videos. And we have currently finished. Walk over here. Currently, we have the neck part, the helmet done, and this, both of these parts go on the hand on top, so uh, I'll get those clipped on, and all the fingers. So I had to show off you guys the whole thing. I know that the fingers look hideous, but there it is. There's the arm coming together together with the bicep, how to look on the outside. Um, kind of incorrect in verse, but just wanted you guys to get into representations. It is really coming together. I mean, it looks really nice. This is not even sanded or primed much, but wow. Is this not freaking cool?